This Simple History episode is brought to you by World of Warships. Why were soldiers wearing American Revolutionary uniforms in the Civil War? The general perception of the American Civil War was that the Confederate Army wore a large variety of uniforms. Some would wear civilian clothing or anything they had captured, and a lot of what they wore was simply produced with local butternut bark, resulting in many of the Confederate uniforms being a yellow-brown butternut color. Some early Confederate units wore dark blue uniforms, which caused confusion at the First Battle of Bull Run in 1861. The Union forces, meanwhile, had some uniformity as they continued to wear a more professional blue uniform that was worn before the war by the undivided United States forces. But often, there were units on both sides which had uniforms heavily influenced by their individual heritage, fashion crazes, or special requirements. One Union unit, Berdan's Sharpshooters, who were a crack rifle regiment, wore a distinct dark green colored uniform which camouflaged them among the trees. This followed the European tradition of clothing their elite units in green. Many of the units on both sides wore French Africa-style Zouave-inspired uniforms with their red baggy trousers, short ornate jackets, and a red fez as headgear. The North also had several units that wore kilts into battle to celebrate their Scottish fighting heritage. The Confederates had one unit that embraced their heritage to the extreme, and that was Company A of the 31st Virginia Militia, commonly called the Continental Morgan Guard, in honor of famous General Daniel Morgan from the American War of Independence. The unit had been formed before the Civil War in 1855. They had prided themselves on modeling their uniforms on those used during the American War of Independence more than 80 years before. Getting into the unit was more like joining a gentleman's club. You did not simply enlist or were conscripted. Instead, you had to apply or be recommended, and then a committee voted on whether to let you in or not. Once accepted, it was not cheap even for the lower ranks, as the uniform was expensive and had to be tailor-made. But it was a stylish uniform, romanticizing the past glory of the American War of Independence. Their attention to detail and quality resulted in a refined and distinct look. With deerskin breeches, long black boots, white ruffled shirts, luxury goat wool waistcoats, with traditional double road buttoned blue tunics and white gloves. Their headgear was the traditional and very outdated tricorn hat with a brass badge with the symbolic date of 1776 on it to celebrate American independence. Their duties were more like that associated with a social club. They carried out eight parades a year, sometimes accompanied by a full marching band, always turning out in their immaculate uniforms to parade with flair and precision in front of impressed large crowds. The nearest thing they saw to action in peacetime was in 1859. This was when they were nearly involved in fighting a small band of anti-slavery activists led by John Brown who took over the Federal Armory at Harper's Ferry in an attempt to acquire the stockpiled weapons for a slave revolt. The Virginia militia, composed of local units, would surround and fire upon the armory, trapping Brown and his raiders inside. The Continental Morgan Guard, who arrived late, had been ordered to look out for any raiders hiding in the buildings and to take them out. The U.S. Marines, who arrived the next morning, would recover control of the position from Brown. The Morgan Guard would then provide security in Charleston, where John Brown would be tried. In 1861, when the Confederate States left the American Union, the Continental Morgan Guard were called up for full-time active service. They were absorbed into the Confederate's 5th Virginia Volunteer Infantry Regiment and given the designation K Company. The regiment would become part of the command of the legendary Colonel Thomas J. Stonewall Jackson. By the following year, the Revolutionary War-styled uniforms were replaced with more standard-issue ones, probably as their original uniforms had worn out due to the wear and tear of constant combat. K Company served with distinction and saw frequent action throughout the war, including the First Battle of Bull Run, as well as the battles of Cedar Mountain, Gettysburg, and Falling Water. During the engagement at the Spotsylvania Courthouse in 1864, the regiment suffered horrendous casualties, but helped the Confederates to score a significant victory over Grant's Unionist Army. When the South was finally defeated in 1865, the Confederate forces in Virginia, including the 5th Virginia Infantry Regiment, surrendered at Appomattox Courthouse on April 9th. A 
few days later, on April 12th, a formal parade of Confederate forces led by the Stonewall Brigade marched into town and surrendered their weapons to the Union forces. They were all to receive pardons and allowed to go home. This Simple History episode was brought to you by World of Warships. The game is free to play and referred to as the Thinking Man's Action Game because it's the perfect balance of action and strategy. You can command a massive naval fleet featuring some of history's most iconic war vessels. In this game, you can unlock new ships and dominate the oceans with 30 million players worldwide. Experience combat and weather effects that make each engagement unique and changes the tactics of battle. In World of Warships, each in-game ship is faithfully recreated using 3D scans of the real-life version. World of Warships is constantly updating the game, so there's something new to experience with a steady cadence of new missions, game updates, and events. There are over 200 ships available to play across 11 different nations. Use our exclusive code below to get a free USS Langley aircraft carrier, which allows for a completely different form of fast place World of Warships gameplay. Click the link below to play World of Warships and collect an exclusive bonus starter pack. New players can register with the code PLAYLANGLEY2019 to receive 300 doubloons, 1 million credits, the USS Langley aircraft carrier, 3 days premium time, and more.